guys, Sunstreak was here. Welcome back to another Monday stream where, yes, we're going to be chilling. Obviously, playing Transformers Earth Wars. We've just hit a wall. We're going to try and hit our wall, do a bit of play the game, answer any questions you've got, anything you want to see on a test server, let me know. I'll try and fit it in. Basically, just chilled, answering your questions and talking about the game. So, thanks to everyone for joining me. Really appreciate it. Um, I want to start off by um, Dale put something in Discord saying, you know, <clears throat> what is your uh, highlight for this year for 2022? Um, he wants to pass it on to um, Hasbro because they do a big meeting. They do a meeting around this time of year, sort of talking about the next year for the game and the releases in line with Hasbro. And uh, I put in there that, you know, there's no particular highlight for me, uh, but for me, it's been a huge year for the channel. It's grew massively. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed, everyone that's been a member, everyone that's just had any part in these streams at all. So I say a big thank you for making the channel what it is. But yeah, I want to start off with that. And that is honestly the truth, guys. That's a massive, my massive highlight um, for this year. So a big shout out to everyone. Big thanks. That being said, let's see who we've currently got in the chat. So first in the chat was Grind Time, then Chris Harmon, Andy Swales. Big shout out to you guys for being members as well. Don't forget, end of this month, we're doing a $50 giveaway. Uh, Google Play or Apple gift card. So for the next big event, that'll be coming handy. But the only way you can get in with being that giveaway is being, being a Platinum member. I think it's about $10, $11, I think it is. Uh, per month, but then like I said, you're going for a $50 gift card every two months So, uh, you know, and then just on the side of that as well You can do one-to-ones with me and speak to me at any point a lot of little things a lot of little uh, You know things you can get and you obviously get little emojis in the chat and a little thing next to your name and everything else as well guys So uh, yeah, consider being a member and being with a shout of a $50 gift card uh, then we've got Lord Avix as well, Charlie Plays, we've got Calvin, uh, Bricks Motion, how's it going? Uh, we've got Penny Lancaster, Erods, William Wilkinson, Alpha Tryon, we've got Stay Puffed, how's it going brother? Uh, we've got um, Loki as well, Kill Cannon, Jason Rowley, S. Clohose, um, did I say William Wilkinson? If not, I will say it again. I think I did, but hey, I don't want to miss you out. Um, who else have we got? We've got... Freezes Max, thanks for joining. Obviously, as always, go and check out all the content creators' channels, guys. Freezes Max and Grind Time Soldier, Engineer Hoist, uh, our DJ Han, obviously, uh, FPS Gaming, even, um... Uh, just Elite as well. We've been watching a bit of him recently. Just subscribe. Go and check him out. Um, and I think Chris Lewis, Profedicon. Again, I hope I got it right. Uh, James Oliver as well. Uh, DDEX76, Generic, Volcanicus number one. And Jetfire VF1S. Thanks for joining. So, whew, that was a hectic weekend for most, I think. So, yeah, how was... Uh, how was your weekend? Let me know what box did you level? Did you get the five star? Did you get the four star? Did you want to get the three star? Did you reach your aim? What was your aim for the weekend in score? You know, let me know in the chat. So I put a bid in for 37.5k and day one bought a small bundle. I say small, but small for me anyway. Bought a small bundle. Um, got. Uh, I got uh, Minerva, six guns, sorry, six gun from 61 to 63, and then, yes, uh, Minerva, 61 to 63, and I was pretty much done. I uh, did my stream on Friday, uh, just started doing Cup Lagooning, and my um, my Lagoon ran out, my XP core ran out, I was on 31k, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much done for the weekend, that's it, me now, yeah, I can, you know. Just chill out and play a bit. So Saturday, um, as I said in the stream, planned to go out and uh, actually fell ill Saturday, so I didn't go out. So um, I was sat, sat up, just pretty much bored, uh, speaking to a few of my uh, members and stuff uh, in my chat, just chatting. And I was like, "Hey, I'm sat here anyway. I ain't doing much. I might as well get another bundle, get another lagoon core." And I ended up doing 55k. 
<laughs> so yeah, so I ended up uh, leveling uh, this guy from 51 to 59. So he's close to 60. So I'll sort of free to play him up to 60 over the next few weeks. Um, also leveled this guy up to 59. Again, going to sort of free to play him over the next few weeks up to level 60. Uh, did this guy as well up to level 60 as well so uh yeah really impressed with slingshot as a four star and think he could be in queen handy in certain situations come uh hq 18 so yeah i think that was everyone that i leveled that was my weekend so let's have a look uh what all you guys did um who else Grand Time got all the stars on both accounts. Well, obviously you did. Obviously. I mean, we're talking to Grand Time, man. Uh, Exarkun. Is that right? I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, got the three star personal best of 18k. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Penn Lancaster got five star Ratchet and Ultra Magnus is 60. I'm not a fan of Ultra Magnus, not going to lie. Um. Got the five star kids put in 81k, missed my bid for 87 and a half k. Yeah, but you've got to think, like, so listen, I, I was going to talk about something else actually while we're here as well, which will, but listen, you know, you've done your bit, it's not like you finished on 50k, you know, finishing within 6k is not a disaster. I mean, I presume the alliance finished early as well, so you got to think you could have put that 6k up, so that's where you can go to the alliance maybe and do that last, that last 6k, but you know, 81k is still, you know, a good amount. For example, there's people in my Avalines that did like 37.5k bid, but did like 33k. And yeah, I'm fine with that. Some people do a few k less, some a few k more. Now listen, if we were short of the target, and we weren't going to reach whatever target we set, then yeah, we'd be like, listen, you need to go and put up your points because we're short. But like I said, I did 55k, so I did extra points. So listen, the end of the thing is, as long as we all get what we went out to achieve, then that's the main thing, isn't it? You've got to do a bit of give and take, you know, because you might be on the receiving end one day. But, you know, as long as you're doing a majority of your points, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, Chris Harmon got all the knockouts, so 5 4 3 and got him to 50. I presume you mean the 5 star. You wouldn't level the 4 star and leave the 5 star, would you? Uh, I got 5 others to 60, 3 5 stars and 2 4 stars. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing about these events. Not only are you getting the 5 star, but it's an opportunity to level other bots as well. So, yeah. Um, Genetic got the 4 star, level blur and slingshot to 65. Nice. You'll have to uh, share me some of them. Shat. Shat them. <laughs> <laughs> Share me some of those screenshots in my uh, Discord server, what I like. Uh, especially the slingshot. Uh, yeah, it looks really good. And I mean, I know I've got my test server, but I don't know. It's a bit different on live, isn't it? I don't know. On test server, you just press a few buttons. There's, there's no effort in there, so yeah. Um, Fox Bomb did an easy 25k in a great weekend in real life. Uh, the bot will come eventually. Yeah, yeah, listen. You know, if you haven't got the time, take the weekend off, just chill. Why not? Real life always comes first. Um, Pin Lancaster, it sucks how good knockout looks. <laughs> I'm not, a, well, I'm not a fan of Transformers Prime. I'll always be G1. Um, Loki ended up with 60k. Nice. And I presume you put a 37.5k bid in. Because you're still a bit short of the 87k. So I presume, I'd hope that you bid 37k went above rather than well below. So yeah. Uh, Betacom was gooning. Uh, college. I can't pronounce this. College. 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 Yeah, that guy. Um, and PL Helbat. Helbat. Sixty-five. Helbat. I mean Felbat. Right. Okay. Yeah. Correction. Got you. <laughs> Grim the door got all the stars. Nice one. Uh. Professional Husky, I'm getting my Tranchless to 50. Nice. And later 5 scars, scrap lots of 40, then 50 next weekend. Decent, decent. Um, Loki maxed out. Co Stop putting that name in the chat, I can't pronounce it. Corellagon. Cor 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 I don't know, that guy. Uh, professional Husky got 9k, not bad, not bad. I'm sure you could have done more though. Even low level could do it more than that. I think, uh, I think. 
Jake got about 12, 15k one weekend. So I always think that, you know, he's quite young, Jake. And if he can do 12, 15k at HQ14, then most people can, you know. But again, it depends. If you're not going to get many many resources, many, and I kind of get it. But I don't know. Depends what your alliance is doing, really. If you put 9k and everyone else is doing 5, then obviously you've done well. It all depends on your standard in the alliance, I suppose. Uh, Grim the Door got a 5 star swoop during the uh, weekend. Nice. Nice. Could be a good bot for HU18. So, literally today, I've literally just finished. That's why I was a bit later than normal. I had a few people going, are you streaming today, was it? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was literally finishing off the video posting this week uh, that me and Tex have done. Basically, doing our top 10 bots for HQ18. But we did something a bit different, which, uh, again, I'll leave it like that. But it's something a bit different than what we normally do. Um... But yeah, it was good. It was good to sort of meet up with tech and sort of do these videos. It's good to get a different opinion, as always. So done our uh, top 10 bots for HQ18. Again, we don't know anything. We're sort of like, you know, guessing a bit. But we've been around the game long enough to know what's probably coming. And listening to snippets, what the apes say and all that. So, um, yeah, that'll be out this week. So uh, go and check that out. But what I am going to do is, guys, I'm going to make two videos. So one video will be available to everyone as normal, but if you are a member, I'm going to post a link to the unedited version uh, in that chat. So basically what normally happens with me in text is we normally do these videos and we'll we'll stick on a subject and then we'll, we'll sort of go off on a bit of a tangent. So we'll be talking about a bot, we'll be like, oh, this combat is good with that bot. And then we'll start talking a bit about that combat. So when I'm editing the video and trying to sort of get it down because you don't want it too long... Those are sort of bits I cut out. I try and keep it on topic. So if we start talking about a combat or a core or something and things like that, I tend to try and cut that out a bit and make it a bit shorter. But what I'm going to do for my members is I'm going to post the unedited version of videos like that um, in the uh, members chat with a link. So you are free to go and watch the unedited version. So the edited version will be about half an hour long. The unedited version will be about 50 minutes long. So you get about an extra 20 minutes of content. So again, just something for my members that I can do. If you want to watch it, uh, rather than watch the actual video live, you can watch the unedited version. and See all the little snippets that we cut out and even the bloopers and stuff like that. So there may be a few swear words in there. Maybe. <laughs> and a few uh, moments where it's a bit of a slapping, like... Bit of face slap. I remember at one point I actually forgot who Sunstreaker's counterpart was. I had to go in the game and look. I was like, I forgot. I've gone blank. I totally forgot. Obviously, it's Swindle. Um, but yeah, it was quite fun. Like I said, it's good to meet me with text. I have a bit of a laugh. So um, yeah, that'll be available for members. Uh, the unedited version and the edited version available for everyone else this week. So watch out for that. Um, Regis Mac did about 90k. Nice. Uh, Wally Wogson did 25k. 25k is a good score. Especially if your life did 500k. That's a good score. So, yeah. Um, grind Time didn't quite make his commit. Let's be honest with Grind Time. That's probably the first time ever. And a lot, I know in an RL you've had quite a bit going on this week. So, hey, I think you'll get a pass for this one, brother. I'm sure you will. No worries, Matt Pollitt. Thanks for joining, though. Appreciated. Um, Dallas Arsenal. Is that right? Uh, got the three star, but finally broke 30k. Is that free to play? If you broke 30k free to play, that's really impressive. That's really, really good. Well done. Uh, what else? <coughs> Give him the door hit 85, 87k. Yeah, that's fine. You know, that's fine, isn't it? Altspot Phil, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Um, Chris Harmon, Swindle, Razor Claw Trigger, happy 5 star to 60. Some Spinster's good. It's fun. I like Spinster. I was going to level it. I think he might be the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Poli, can I guess? Did text rate Air Raid and Hound for the combo bots? Well, you'll have to see. You'll have to see. Yeah, great size, but bloopers like what I was trying to cut color, color gun and cicada con? Cicada con? Is that right? <laughs> Chris Harmon, 105k. Also, 41k free to play from Autobot Phil. Nice. That That is some going. Honestly, when I see people doing like 37, 40k free to play, 
for me, that's just as impressive as someone doing 200k. Because anyone with plenty of money can do a decent score. You know, you can do... I, I could probably do 70k in one day. So, 200k for me, you know, is, is decent. You know, it's a lot of money, but, you know, it's a decent level of playing. Once you get past that, it's a lot of time invested. And that's what impresses me, the time that you are invested. So, if you could do 40k free to play, that's a decent score. So, yeah, congratulations on that. Well done. Yeah. Tell Titano, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Wow, what did you say? <laughs> said Cicadacon. I'll tell you a funny story, actually. So, I obviously, we're struggling. And someone, I'd love to tell it. I can't remember. It's one of my, it's one of my followers that follow my, t my stream quite a bit. And I I'd love to be able to give my shout out. And I can't remember. Someone might even be in the chat right now. I cannot remember. And someone hit me up and said, hey, I think I can help you with this. So, you know, John Takeda, they did that song in the 80s, Just Another Day Without You. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how you pronounce it. Cicada, con. It's like, oh, that's easy. I could do that. And ever since then, I know how to pronounce it now. So I go, John Cicada, con. There you go. So, so I'd love to give my shout I'm sure they might probably be in the chat right now because someone does follow my channel quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. I was like, cheers for that. And now I know. So it's down to you, whoever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Freezer's Mac completely enjoying the event was easier than I thought it would be. Might start doing them regularly. Yeah, I think an SBB will get you there, uh, usually. Uh, but the, uh, obviously the prize is obviously leveling bots. That's the big one. You know, the five star, get leveled on your next big event, you know. But, uh, I was saying this to, um, Grind Time. Like, you know, they've been quite clever with the apes. They've been quite clever in the fact that, um, you know, they're bringing out a bot. And they're making you level that bot. So you got to chase the bot. you got to spend to get it. Then you got to spend to level it. They're bringing a G1 core. you got to buy bundles to get that core. Ability 11. You've got to play the game to get more spark. The, before it was all about spend, spend, spend to get the bot. And now they're realising it's not just getting the bot. It's spending a bit to get the bot. It's spending a bit to get a G1 core. It's spending a bit and playing the game to get the spark. Keeping people engaged. That is the answer. It's not all about just making people spend tons of money. And I said there's a deal that, you know, if drop rates were better and people got more bots, more people would spend money probably leveling them bots. You know, if bundles a bit cheaper, you know, you're better. It's, it's just it's business. You're better getting a small bit of profit off thousands of people, say, than a lot of profit off them 10. Because if those if five of them 10 go away, you lost half your profit. Where if you lose, if you have a thousand of people and you lose 100, you're not really going to miss them. You know, you still got your base there. So that's where the uh, the side pass comes in. You know, getting a bit of money from a lot of players. That is the answer, you know. So maybe we should do, reduce the cost of the bundles in some way or something or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Hammond, it's all about the team. But yeah, as long as the team can, uh, you know, work together, then yeah, fair enough. Freeze max my five star pulls me so bad, isn't it? <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm going to do a bit of gameplay while we chat. But yeah, we've just pulled um, one Empire. So uh, yes, I'm Commander. So hopefully by the end of the stream, someone might uh, have a go. And uh, try and uh, beat my base. I don't know if anyone's in the chat. Give them a shout out if they are. But uh, I don't know. Are any of you guys in one Empire? If you are, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think we're... Uh, We've got a chance with this because we've got a four player advantage, but you never know. But yeah, you never know. Cool. So the plan today is I want to uh, do a bit of a resource raiding, get some uh, you know resources in, and then we're going to hit this war. But I've got to sort my war team out because it's all over the show. But I'm going to try and put Minerva in. I don't think this is a tracked war. I need to find out actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put Minerva in. Uh, and give Minerva a go for the first time in a proper war. I mean, I've tried her in leveling and bits like that, and in untracked wars and stuff like that, where it doesn't matter if we win or not. And she's been alright, it's not been too bad. Um, but yeah, I want to try her in a war. So that's going to be the uh, the highlight of today. Maybe even Sit's going to depend on the base. I'm not in luck to the base yet. But we're going to try and do a bit of experimenting today, I think, uh, with the war. I'm not too sure if it's tracked or not. I don't know what to do here now. Need to find out if it's tracked first. <laughs> if anyone's in the chat that's in um 
uh, try and ops, let me know, is this war tracked? <laughs> let me know <laughs> for a look. <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to like mess about in a tracked war. Grind times. Oh, but, oh yeah, grind times in, obviously. Duh. Yeah, grind times. Alt account is in there. Yeah. Optional tracked. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind messing about. I don't mind uh, trying a few things out. So, yeah, cool. But uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to try to do a bit of zone 50. So, for a long, long, long time now. So, for a long time, I wasn't bothered about medals. I was like, I hate medals. I ain't going to bother with them. Meh. And then, when they started, sort of started bringing out uh, getting Titan XP, I was like, well, I'm going to have to get resources and get Titan XP. I might as well get medals while I'm at it. So, I've been nailing zone 14. And my medals have gone from 9,000 to 20,000. To give you an idea, so I was like, "This is really easy. Look at this. I'm smashing it. I'm catching everyone up." And then once you get twenty thousand, Zone Fourteen stops giving you medals. It's like brilliant. So I want to start going Zone Fifteen. So what I've done is I've done loads of teams. So I had about fourteen teams for Zone Fourteen. So you can see them all here. So that's my war team that I normally have. So I've got a team there, 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 team there. So yeah, some power leveling teams as well. So I want to get rid of all these basically, and I'm gonna start afresh, completely, and I'm gonna try for Zone 15. And it, you know, you might need to do a bit of editing, you might need to change some things out, but but let's take all these out. So what I tend to do is I tend to leave my war team out of these. So that's a hard bit. The hard bit is leaving your war team out. Because obviously, they're your best bots. So, how I always start with these. So, we'll leave this empty from a war team. I can go in there. Um, but yeah, so a tank. So, let's put a Rhinox in there. Don't crash, God. So, I reckon, what? Three zone 15 teams, I reckon? So, yeah. Another tank in there. Probably a four-star tank now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's put in there. Let's put Rook in there. So how many teams do you... Anyone run Zone 15? How many teams do you run? So I have interest. Let me know. Uh, okay, we've got a couple of tanks. Okay, let's put some gunners in here now. <laughs> Again, keeping away from my war team, so... Put Cheeto in there. You can clean up after uh, Rhinox, can't you? Again, I'm looking at Synergy. Bots looking, uh, you know, a lot of HP there, so... Um, need some good gunners in there, so... Um, might put Sandstorm in there, I think, and then... Uh, yeah, Elita, so and smoke screen to finish off, maybe to clean up after Elita. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, blades can go in there, don't really use blades in war that much. Uh, red alert can go in, no, red alert can go in my Optimus squad, actually. Red alert can go in the Optimus squad, yeah. Red alert can go in there, Skyburst can go in there. Let's have a look. Prowl can go in there. We've got a one shot in there now. And yeah, we've got an AOE. Uh, we haven't got a one shot in there. No, we need a one shot in there. We do need a one shot in there. So we could put Skalix in there, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Skalix can clear a good area, can't you? Um, tracks in there. We haven't got a one shot in there. No, we do need a one shot of some kind in there. So Silbot can go in there. We'll put another one shot in there. Put jet fire in there. I think one shot at that level. Uh, we've got a one shot in there, but um, let's um, let's see who we've got to put in there. So we put hot red in there actually to uh, make Optimus Prime invincible. Maybe yeah. Let's put some healers in there. Let's put a four star healer in each. So we'll put first aid in there. We'll put um, wheel jack in there. And then we'll put a Ratchet in there. <coughs> and the last bot, we'll try and put some of these bots we want to level in. So we'll put Gnar in there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try Gnar. 
Yeah, in there we'll put a uh, Sunstreaker. Nice bit of AoE as well. And in there we'll put... We should put in there six gun, I think. Yeah, I think six gun. Yeah. It's got three teams for that. And then what I'm going to try and do is... I'm going to try and put like six gun in there. Well, if someone I can clear an area. Someone I can clear. Uh, so I'll solo some bases. Maybe. Blur and slash. That could probably do zone 15 maybe. Maybe. Who knows. And spring them in there. Yeah. We'll set up on goals. Uh... Yeah, preferred guy can manage five zone fifteen teams by a three without. Yeah, I'm trying without. I'm trying to think, yeah. Cowan's only got one zone fifteen team. Yeah. Back door with zone fifteen with Metro. Yeah. That's a good point actually, yeah, you can obviously do it with your finger. With your uh, Titan as well. Um Yeah, I've played an all prime team. No, I haven't actually. It's good it's good shout though, it's a good idea. Just for uh, giggles. <coughs> Might as well do that in uh, next Monday. Or even Thursday, try out an all prime team. Hmm. Get them leveled on test server and have a go. Chris Harmon's got six zone 15 teams. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see how it goes then, eh? Oh, I put six going in there, haven't I? Why well, I put six going in there? It's supposed to be a leveling bot in there, but hey. Let's put Dad bot in there, actually, yeah. Yeah. Zone 15, let's give it a go. <laughs> and like I said, Prime Team, give away, Prime Team, give away, give away, Prime Team, give away, Prime Team, give away. <laughs> zone 14 for events, Zone 13 for Tech Tree points. Well, no, I'm trying to go Zone 15. I want some medals as well at the same time, so we'll see. So, level 17, so maybe I could just like, I don't know, I'm just going to Rhino sack it, I'm just going to Rhino sack I think, see how that goes, might work, might not, hey, what's the worst can happen, we lose. I can't even seem to bless him. <laughs> oh, let's put it there and try for the best. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Get rid of that mortar, it's demoted him. Well, I think that uh, Rhinox going to die anyway, so let's send him up there and get rid of that. Oh, Cheetos down there, isn't it? Brilliant. Do a bit of protection there. Come on, get through that wall, Cheetah. Come on. Shit. 
Should be based down, actually. That was a lot easier than I thought. I thought it'd be a lot harder than that, actually. Cool. Isn't first aid for part of defense? So yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, good part. Yeah, just elite. How's it going? We'll do a giveaway, of course. We're actually gonna do a sort of two giveaways, actually, in a way. Um, well, yeah. So I tell you what, I will announce. So Dale has asked that I choose obviously thirty people. Uh, Uh, for a giveaway. I'm a bit disappointed that my... Hmm... My uh, filter is not working. So yeah, if you are a Platinum member, you are automatically going to go into the draw for the toy. So, I did ask this for Dale though. So, basically, we're all doing 30 each. So, it's like 150 people going to the draw. So, I'm not sure how many toys they're giving away. But I thought it was one each. But it's not. It's one between us, sadly. But, if you are a Platinum member, I am going to put you in to the draw. For a uh, Transformers figure courtesy of Space 8. Let's uh deploy. Deploy. Pop some outpost there a minute. That's not good. And now Jetfire's died as well. Wow, this team's awful. <laughs> Maybe it's the base, I don't know. It's not going well, let's be honest though. Sharks did nothing. Yeah, I think we've lost this one. I think this team is upgrading desperately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you c I could say it's just subscribers only, but again, it's not fair to people that aren't really. Like, you know, some people can't subscribe, I get it, but I don't know. So that team is changing. Basically, I got put a filter on basically for certain words, and you can see certain words like adult and dating that are banned, and they shouldn't be getting through. So I need to look at that really and see why they are getting through. But hey. Prime Star Saber SS SS Jet Fire Prowl Wheeljack Slingshot Sandstorm and Tracks. Yeah, I put tracks in that, so that's a good point. That's a good shout. I could put tracks in that team quite easily. It was a good design, not too fair though. It was. So let's do a bit of sack, I think. Oh, 
Oh, tracks are nesting, that's why. That's why. Stick tracks down. Stick a bit of gnar down there. Cool, we'll take that with sailboat as well. Take out the goodbye to there with smoke screen. Stick a heal bomb down. Send the sharks over there as well, swap out. But if we lose that tank, ooh, we lost our tank, that's not good. Small screen to save the day. Oh yeah, cat dang I hate you over. So that team worked alright, see? Did he all miss a sunstreaker? Because I don't think he's that good, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, that team that team's alright in zone 15. It's that second team and he's changing. But I can see now the bots I haven't used a lot bit easier, so. Let's have a look. Trying to prove that second team. This one here. So let's take Sunstreaker out. We could put in. Yeah, I think six good. And maybe have a sack bot in there. Yeah, I don't really rate Skype, so. Let's put a sack bot in there. That team should work it better, I think. Yeah. Sack it, kill it. Let's try with these guys. This should be interesting. This should be interesting. What's my setup for C Spray and B? Well, when I've done these attacks, I've got a bit of resources. I'm going to change my cores around. I will uh, show you myself for being um, C Spray. Joseph, I would at least save 30k if you want the Titan that bad. But. Okay, okay so what I'm going to do is. Drop six gun here. So I need a three star Titan, so that's what we're going to do. Take this MSN out. There we go. I want Cisco to take this area out here without using ability points out Ideally, so I'm going to take these out with the Titan, then drop Slash on the right. Then I'm going to path slash upwards by doing that. Mesh Plex will help slash get through that bit faster. Just hope there's no flare mines. Two abilities, job done. So it takes for slash. Boom! Two bots zone 15. Do love better slash. I mean, it is a low level 50 zone 15 to be fair, but it's good for pathing. It really is. Yeah, I love my slash.
awful in wars. But, um, oh, that's four star slash. Oh my day, not even the five star. I thought why it didn't finish the, the HQ off. Oh wow, that's even more impressive then. <laughs> oh, we're going to switch that one out, definitely. Where's Slash? There she is. There we go. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Yeah, they did mention that the five-star Titan won't be until next year, so it is going to be a while yet, guys. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't panic about this five-star Titan. Personally, I've said I hope that it never comes to the game. I think, I think Titans are the most unbalanced thing in this game right now, more than anything. You know, I've said to Dale that they really do. Defy, they really do decide a battle. They really do. If your Titan wins, you will probably win. If your Titan loses, you will probably lose. And I don't think that's really fair that one Titan. And he said that, you know, that's why they brought a new Titan in to give people different options. But then, if they make new content better than old content, which I said they should, and I'm not too sure it is right now, we'll have to wait and see on the HP and stats and things like the four star. Um, that if that's the case, then those that get, you know, Fort Max highest will win wars and don't think that's fair that you can just you know it's like just saying listen go get this one five star and you'll win all your wars you know it's not really fair is it let's be honest so um we'll have to wait and see what's happening basically so yeah has anyone done my base yet no let's uh let's see if we can beat this base so I need to do a disclaimer, as always, that, you know, if this is your base and you're watching the stream, it's not a detriment to you, you know, most bases I can beat, you know, I thought, I'm not, I'm not finding a base that I, yeah, I, have, I can't beat, um, maybe in Prime, maybe when we do Unicron League, then maybe I'll find one, but, uh, you know, uh, but most bases in Prime League, especially if one Emperor are, are good bases, and this is no different, it's a decent base of fair, good, good cause on, so, yeah. But obviously, like any base, you've got to find the holes. You've got to find the the what you can take advantage of. So, um, what have we got? So, first thing to do is look at cores and build bots. We've got an anti-hack at the bottom. We've got uh, two force field disruptors. We've got a healing build bot. And at the back, we've got anti-hack. So, I can use stun. There's no anti-stun cores. So, that's good. That I can use that. So, I can use one will be a new sea spray. It's got effect. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, target protocols. So, be wary of them. They kill your healers quite quick. We've got a thunderstorm over here, so we need to take this out quite quickly. So I'm thinking to come from the left hand side here. Take this section out, take these out with sea spray. Uh maybe times two to take that out. Then we're gonna walk, try and walk upwards this way. Then we'll probably use laser optimus a bit on this middle section. Use uh jet fire on this. He's only got an armor on it, really. Uh, you're better with um the uh healing uh self repair course really. Um, and yeah, I tend to walk upwards, drop the minions, because there's a lot of single point defences up here, so drop the minions, explosive shells are alright, I prefer high velocity myself. Um, then, uh, we'll probably pop this one with Blaster's minions, um, and then as we go, oh, the combiner's not active, that's not good for him. Um, and then we'll probably pop, put Rook, uh, to pop these outposts up here. Uh, we'll probably put him right in the middle there, so you can see there, it, it covers both outposts. I'm hoping not to pop this outpost. Probably take that one out with jet fire as well and sea spray maybe. Uh, Bone beacon stun all this middle bit here just to keep me alive. Jet fire for this. So jet fire, jet fire, um, blasters, minions, and uh, maybe laser optimus for that as well. Take that out. We need to. We need to take this out. We need to take this out. We need to take this out uh, and distract all this area here and pop these outposts and then. Combine maybe I might drop combine a bit earlier actually uh, to help me on this section over here. So that is the idea because there's no combine active. I can use my combine up whatever one. Normally I'd probably drop Brooks minions right around around here somewhere. Pop the two and then I'd do damage in the area. So maybe around here I'd pop Brooks hollow usually. So pops that, pops that, does damage to that, and then I can finish it off a combiner. But um, it's going to be quite easy. Right, so let's make sure I set my team up now because, like I said, the team was all over the show because we're doing some leveling at the weekend. So, uh, so first in line is always Rook. So Rook set up for me. 
uh, Zor and my Kronos. I used to have stripes on him. Um, used to have shield drum, but with shield drum, he just sits back a lot. And I didn't like the fact that he was just sitting back too much. So I've put something in Zor for attack strategy to help me get through the base a bit quicker. So yeah, um, so Rook is down first. Then we're going to drop uh, Laser Optimus second after that. So Amalgamus to do more damage. Rat Trap just to get rid of Chromius Tower. Uh, then we're going to drop Blaster. Um, there we go. We don't want Blaster again early on in the start. He's the bot that sort of stays alive the longest. So we've got Blaster in there. Then we're going to drop Sea Spray. So Sea Spray. Well, the thing first is I want to put B in there. And make sure that he's got five star top shot on an alchemist. Um, so we need to. This is why we need energy. You see, so top shot. Although it keeps him close, uh, it because it does so much damage. An alchemist, it will keep him alive. He's the hardest one to keep alive. Probably one of the most important though, in terms of like cost. So we've got to keep him alive. Uh, sea spray. Uh, we'll probably put. Um, do we put flak on sea spray? I've I've, I've decided to do a bit of a switch around. Um, Jet fire, maybe flak on there. Um, I'm thinking flak on there. We'll do a pop. Hmm. We've got highest DPS 787. Could put flak on, flak on the highest one 658. So yeah, I'm gonna put flak on uh, jet fire. Take advantage of that high DPS. But the question is now is who do I put on C spray? There we go, and then we're gonna put C spray in there as well. But who do I put on C spray? Gonna combat, but I do want to keep him quite close. I don't want anything like glitch on him. But I do like spell spot on six gun though, so I might put nine stick on actually. Gets him a bit closer. Does heal him as well. So, yeah, I'm going to put Nightstick on. I do like Nightstick. Oh, Master Ninja. Thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated, bud. Thank you. So, yeah, let's try Nightstick. Again, we're sort of doing a bit of testing, aren't we? So, let's test the new combat out. And then, um... Put Minerva in there. So, Minerva set up. So, we've got Rung. And I've got a Reju banner. So you got to think, she rejuves herself, and this core rejuves as well, so she stays alive for a long time. Uh, rejuve, and then uh, Ratchet, actually. I like Ratchet over Wheeljack. I do like Wheeljack, but... Ooh, but I'll put try on. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard one. Well, I've got Minerva, maybe I don't need Ratchet as much. But I use Ratchet as like, more in a wheel... Ooh. No, you know what? I'm going to put Ratchet in, but I'm going to take off the Rejuvenate and put off Trion on. And I still don't have enough energy on. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put Alpha Trion on Minerva, I think. That's the plan. Well, Alpha Trion was always going on grind time. The question is, who was it going on? That's a big question. So, don't like doing this really, but hey, need to use a bit. That's the point, Matt Polo, though. That's the point that he, you know, trip up on Wheeljack. So, Wheeljack is basically my bot to get through time traps. He can speed up his ability, promote his ability, then trip up would work as well. So, that's the idea behind it, that he's always speeding up. Minerva, Alpha Trion, there we go, I'm tempted to put Sitzquan in there though, you know, instead of Jetfire maybe, don't know, I'll do put it instead of Laser Optimus even, hmm, no we'll go with that, we'll go with that. We'll take Magniboss as well, just uh, untracked. So yeah, let's see how it goes. 
I might actually drop my nerve at the start as well, just to keep the bots alive and see how that goes. That should do well. Rather than using Ratchet as, rather than using Ratchet as an emergency, use Minerva as a preemptive sort of healing. No, it wouldn't negate it, my polar. I'm not sure if it stacks or not, but you know. But don't forget, triple can run off. It doesn't stay next to Wheeljack. You know, and you can put Wheeljack wherever, so. Let's do that. Let's do that. Put our minions down there as well. Let's do that as well. There we go. Yet. Let's put sea spray through there as well to try and pack them, but these bots gonna go down, I think, so I might have to just put some sharks down here just to pack them round. In fact, I think that's based down now actually. I didn't even need Magda Boss. <laughs> well, that seems pretty powerful. I know my team is powerful anyway, but with Minerva, that seems even better. I didn't have to use Ratchet, so I just used it at start and then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, passed. What the hell is going on with Blasted Minions here? What the hell? So many bugs right now. Yeah, Spinster, aka Rotostorm, is really good. Yeah. Penny Lancaster Mirage and Sideswipe. Not too sure about that. Y10, how's it going? Thanks for joining, bud. What have we got this time? So this is where I might take six gun actually, because there's a lot of default defenses, so I might just try six gun and then just walk in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's set up all right. I can take oh, I can take, I can take wheel ratchet out. I think put wheel jack in, save some coin, and then uh, we'll put uh, a heal beam on him. Yeah, is G one? Is that low level still? Yeah, I'm using that. Not bothering. Too low. No, <coughs> oh dear. No pressure, White Ten. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so let's have a look. Is there any? Uh, let's look at the cores that's on. So we've got a uh, anti-shield, force field disruptor, three force field disruptors, and a healing core up top, and a healing core build up behind the HQ with the shield gen there. So you don't put the shield gen close to any. You know, three point buildings, guys, because if hit it with Titan, it's going to get quite a lot of points back. But the idea is, I'm going to take a massive chunk of this out with six gun, I think. I might actually use six gun twice and just walk. So, six gun times two down here. I might put him there. Six gun there. Maybe even around there somewhere. But it'll take a big section out. And then maybe walk him, walk the rest up, and then six gun again. And then pop them two outposts there. Pop that with blaster, pop them to there, and then drop combine them and clear this area here. Let's try that, eh? Let's try it. Let's 
try and do some six gun pathing. Raphael Correa, how's it going? Thanks for joining, bud. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a spinster, uh, aka Rotostorm fan, you know. I am. I do like him, but then I don't like. I like the fact he's better than Strafe because he stays still. That's the big difference because Strafe sort of gets stuck in places and drops where he shouldn't. Whereas Rotostorm just stays at the back and shoots, and his his range increases as he tries targets. So it's really good. Crazy. That really is. Wow. Six gun is a monster. Why is Seaspray walking around? What the hell? Make the bus down! Drop the healing bomb there, that'll heal my bots hopefully we're finishing time. Need to take a section out to path them upwards, ideally. Don't want to get caught in this area here. So hopefully I'll walk up there to that. That's the idea. Need to drag the combiner up now, hopefully try and keep him alive long enough to drag him up. Oh, I think he's gonna die. He's not gonna do it. Not quite. Sits gun. Get rid of that for me, mate. <laughs> Sits gun is crazy. Crazy good. Six gun, get rid of that for me, mate. I need it gone. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm in love with Six gun. <laughs> I thought it was expensive, but. Nah, he's not. Face down. Cool. Well wow, I'm impressed with six gun. Really impressed. Those lower down all defense uh, bases now are super easy with six gun. Just clears it all out. No, still nothing for me, no. Might do one more. I don't want to waste all my coins, really, that, you know. But... <laughs> Daniel Evans, you down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> see, I see base like this, I think. Oh, I'll cut that. What a cow. Yeah, trigger happy. Yeah, yeah. So I want to be. I want to try this base just to destroy this section here with uh, trigger happy. That's all I want to do. Yeah, let's stick with that team. Actually, let's look at the build bots first. What build bots have we got? Four seal disruptors. What's at the front? Anti hack. It's fine by me. At the back, two healing. Fine by me. Yep. Do this. I 
Yeah, well, I'll be honest with you, the reason I got back into Transformers was thanks to Jacob, really. I wanted something we could both watch rather than Mr. Tumble. Which I don't know if you know what that is if you're in the States, but yeah. Damn. Sits gun didn't take it out. I thought Sits gun could take out a um Means up there a minute. Go. Double set damage from the top. This combiner's taking a while to get down, so we need to. Uh And go. I'll be using sits going for that again. Yeah, looks like I'll take the uh, jet fire, take out the uh, shield gen, and then use sits going to set out. It looks like. We pulled it out though. Yeah, well, if you attack from the center like that, um, till bolt, then it doesn't work very well. It, um, you know, obviously getting hit from both sides, from both Marty. He's supposed to attack from the right hand side, but. Um, yeah, I thought I'd try something different, but it didn't work out. You didn't pass me at all. <laughs> Yeah, did not go to plan at all. Like I said, I want to attack that base like that normally. Like I said, I'm just trying some different things out with sits gun and stuff. Normally, I take the shield gen out with jet fire and take it out with the uh, other bots and a. Uh, Titan beam and stuff, so yeah.
Yeah, yeah well, in testing, when we did it originally, you could take it all out, but then with the uh, increase in the tech tree perks, uh, it can't no longer. So, yeah, again, I just taught testing out, really. So, lesson learned. Take Jetfire with Sits Gun. Um, but then, who to drop? Drop C, right? Or drop B? See there, B really pulled it out at the end there, because it's done a big area, so. It's to be a hard choice. Maybe I drop. Liz Optimus, even. Maybe got to go with two tanks, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Oh no, Penny Lancaster Grand Time is in Psy, uh, but his alt account is in uh, our alliance. So it's his second account. Because uh, he's that sort of crazy guy that has got a second account that's on one of the top uh, players in a fourth tier alliance. So probably, probably in third tier soon. I can imagine Cadamus moving up to Illicit soon. But uh, yeah, crazy. Grand Time having a top account and a third tier account as well. But yeah. But again, there's guys out there that have got two top. Uh, accounts. So. See, it's good on brainstorm, but that's expensive. That's expensive. What si brainstorm six, twelve ability points? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can imagine it's a lot of damage. It'd be fun. It'd be fun that actually to use, but twelve ability points, and then isn't he six plus three? Is it five plus six plus three? Is it for um, brainstorm? And uh, six guns, six plus two, I think. So six guns, eight plus eight plus two. Jesus. So eight plus two for um, for him. And I've actually then like, got four star um, brainstorm. And six plus three. So the first cost is fourteen. Fourteen ability points, and the next one will be nineteen. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. Uh, Terrace Tano's got his Guy Hawk or Brainstorm good or they bad? Um, oh, God. Honestly, like, he's one of them weird bots where on paper he sounds OP to hell. And you think 95% slowdown is incredible. <clears throat> and you think the damage is really, really good. And I like to use him just in front of a water team and just clear an area. But it just doesn't work for me. I've tried it and tried it on the, on the test account. And it just never works out. Every time I've tried with Brainstorm, I end up dropping him. And I just can't fathom him. I just think he's too expensive. I think support box needs to be quite cheap. Like Slingshot, you know. Slingshot is, what, 3 plus 2, is it? Slingshot? Yeah, 3 plus 2. You know, you want bots like that. You know, that are good support bots, you know. Springer, 6 plus 3, that's still quite expensive, I think, for a support bot. I mean, his healing's alright, but you're not going to use it three times, are you, really? 6 plus 3. 6, 9, 12, that's expensive. But, I'm a big fan, though, personally, of having support bots um, at a decent, a decent amount, and then a, a low increase of plus 2. I mean, I was saying to Grand Town, the problem with Trax is that his first cost is 2. You know, that's the problem. So it's two ability points, then it's seven. That's nine ability points for two uses. That's four and a half average. That's cheap. Four and a half is cheap. Because slingshot, three plus two is three plus five is eight. That's four. So you see, that's cheap. That is really cheap. Where you combine six gun, eight, and then ten for second use, that's 18. That's an average of nine if you use it twice. So that's what you sort of look at. It's not just the, the cost, but the increase. You know. 4 plus 3, so it's 4 plus 7 is 11 for 2 uses. 5 plus 2, so 5 plus 7, that's 12 for 2 uses. 2 plus 2, that's 6, that's 3 for 2 uses average. No, that's really, really cheap. You know, once you start getting to 3 and 4, that's when it's really, really cheap to use. They're the sort of abilities you want. Minerva, 5 plus 5, so again, 1 use is alright, but once you get to 2, 15 is 7.5 point. Is, that's expensive to use, it really is. So that's what you've got to look at. Not just the first use, it's the second use as well. You know, 4 plus 6, that's 10. Still bolt really good. So 4 plus 6 is 10. That's an average of 5. That's not bad. You know, once you start getting the 3s and 4s, they are really good bots. They are really cheap bots. Uh, once you start getting to 4 and 5s, all right. Once you get past that, once you get to 6s, it starts getting expensive. And once you get past 7 or 8, it's a no-go for me. Far too expensive. And so, like I said about... Um, 
once you look at uh, Brainstorm, it's 6 plus 3, so it's 9 plus 6, 15, a 7.5 average. That is, that is expensive. That is expensive. 7.5 average. What was 6 gun, 8 plus 2, it's 89 average. But the damage you're getting from 6 gun is absolutely scandalous. It really is. You know, Elita, no, 8 plus 3, that's 19. So when 9.5 average, too expensive. Star Saber, 12 plus 3, 20, oh, 15, 27. Yeah, I mean, it's a big heavy, but still, you want more than that for 27 ability points. And this is the problem with Nose Cone. I know everyone jokes about Nose Cone. It's this. So it's 4 plus 6, that's 14. So it's 7. It's really expensive. You know, and I get you're just you're damaging one wall, but very, very expensive. But you know what? Honestly, like, people call Nose Cone, but he has, he has got a use. He has, I mean, let's just put this on there. Just to give you an idea. So, oh, the wall plus, plus the core doesn't work into it, I don't think, does it? Or does it? 18%. we got to think, at 53.7, does 11,000 damage to walls. Twenty-seven thousand. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. You need to max him, probably. <laughs> I think in testing we need to get into like sixty-one for it to be useful. But, you know, if you in some in some base designs, if you can take out one wall piece, uh, you know, it can um, it can matter a lot. It can change the whole uh, path in the battle. So that's, that is useful. It's the cost because sometimes you got to do that twice, and doing it twice is expensive. Yeah, small screen is great. Really, really cheap as well. Really, really good. Did they nerf impact? No, no, no. They haven't nerfed him. It's a, it's a bug. There's loads of bugs. You mean you see blasted then just the thing. They're trying stuff for HO18 behind the scenes. I don't know what they're doing, but they're trying stuff, and it's just coming into the game. It's filtered in, because so I was saying this to um, was it Chris Lewis? I think it might have been, and maybe a cult, uh, a guy that's uh, in my channel and stuff. And um, who remembers the Gnaw glitch? The Gnaw shark glitch. So basically one weekend, um, <coughs> they brought out... Were they buffing? I think they buffed the sharks, I think. I think they were buffing the sharks. And so, um, basically, you know the shark boost? They were basically doing like 40,000 damage. And I'm not exaggerating. Because they would take down uh, HQ 16 on its own, and HQ is what? What health? Something stupid. It doesn't say, but basically, you would drop the sharks on the HQ, and it killed the HQ. So I had like about 50 shark boosts saved up. I was like, right, I'm just going to level. I want to level Nor anyway. So I'm going to level Nor with these shark boosts. And um, so they changed one thing in the game, and that affected something else because they use the same code so you know Nars improving Nars minions or the shark something change the shark boost to do stupid damage it might have been a build 11 I can't remember now but it's happened a few times where they've changed something they they changed a laser beam or something in the game and all of a sudden the HQ it might have been an impact actually when impact came out the they use the same code for the HQ laser the um, the beam and it was just doing stupid amount of damage. It was like hitting a bot and just taking it out. You're like, what the hell? Again, so these bugs do come in the game when they make adjustments to something uh, behind the scenes. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. They're not nerfing it. Uh, it isn't working as it should do right now, I believe. Uh, and they are going to fix it. Um, but there's just, again, there's just too many bots and too many things that use the same code. And this is why I've said that they need to bring out different stuff. New stuff and... Um, Go and check out my suggestions in Discord. I made a few suggestions, and uh, you know, it's all it's all trying to improve defense, improve outposts because they need it. And I'm I'm a bit a big advocate at the minute. So my next big thing um, is trying to make it so that you can't waste abilities. So when you do sack, um, it doesn't waste the abilities. So new outposts where 
it doesn't waste the ability where it reignites so a bit like uh rhinox's um transmetal core so um when your health drops below 40 percent you imprison nearby foes so basically it reactivates his ability or i've suggested combat that when surrounded by other bots you get a multiplier something around that so it, i didn't really write it correctly but so when so on offense if your bots are in a really tight knit then you get like a 20 percent buff maybe on something so the idea is keep all your bots in close proximity and i'm talking close i'm talking in close aoe but then on defense the same happens uh, but maybe have it extra so double that maybe if on defense but they need to be close proximity so if you've got three tanks and a gunner the gunner wouldn't be in range of that he wouldn't get the extra damage but the tanks would so that maybe encourages how to use more tanks or you might use more gunners which are going to stay back a bit maybe and you know that combat on one of them gunners will make them gunners do a lot of damage and have one tank maybe again it just sort of opens it up a bit to different designs and making sack a bit harder but i've also listen and i'm not just sitting here saying i want sack harder to make walks easier because i want it easier no i want walks to be harder as well i want some sort of healing anti-healing core as well uh, to produce the amount because the amount of healing of course is stupid sack is too easy you can't defend against it i don't like anything in the game that you can't defend against you should be able i said it lot i don't want to keep going over it again but yeah yeah dojack sack mines are not uh you i said that the area of effect is too small i said that and the timer is too short that is the problem because uh the problem is as well is you look at the mines so um the mines so um most sensitive mine does 12 seconds yeah so 12 seconds i think it's like 13 at max and if you look at elita's core so oh should i got it on let's put it on her I should die quite quick in that last battle. Um, so when your health drops below 30%, you can invulnerable damage for 10 seconds. But what you find is, so when this is maxed out, it's about 12 seconds, I think, something like that. Maybe 13. Yeah, it's about 12 seconds. Yeah. So, because that's 12 seconds, and the mines is... 13 seconds... By the time Elita drops, it takes time to get down to 30 health. It takes like a second to get down to 30% uh, health. And then, by that point, it ignites that she becomes invulnerable to damage and sun effect for 10 seconds. So then, once the time of the MSM has wound down and gone, you can use her again. So, Elita with Elita Armor Core maxed out can negate the MSM. MSM, sorry. You know, the MSM needs to be longer. For me, it should be 15 seconds at max. Maybe even 16. So I think a slight buff in time. I think an air, I think an area effect. You should be able to cover the landing pad uh, with four MSMs. So at the minute, you know, uh, with that area effect, you need three six. So I just need to think like a like a couple like up to about there. No, like a four square increase. Nothing crazy. Not like the FFD, like stupid range like that. Uh, but, you know, it, it does need like about a 50% increase, maybe. Something like that. A 30% increase. But, um, listen, more mines would be fine. You know, if they give us more mines, it gives us more choices. And I've also said, if they do bring out anti healing cores and put it in a mine, then you've got a choice. You can defend against SAC, put all MSM, defend your base, and do well to stop SAC. But then people are going to walk. And then you can do all anti-healing if you want, but then people are going to sack maybe and trigger them. So, you know, I just want people to have different attack options. In a perfect world, I would like to look at a base and go, right, I am going to rush this base. Right, I am going to sack this base. I am going to walk this base. I'm going to rush and smash this base. I'm going to backdoor this base. And in an ideal world, each one of those attacks would be applicable to one base in war. So you need to be good at everything. You know, if you can only walk, you're going to struggle against a lot of designs because it's designed differently. You should be able to look at a design and go, yeah, I can backdoor that. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can do that. And different attacks for each base in the war. And that's what I want. And then you can have multiple teams. Doesn't mean you, have di you need 30 bots, but you can go, yeah, that bot can work in a rush team and can walk in a work team and a, and a sack team. 
but I need this bot for a backdoor team. So, and then you can chase more bots really like that. And the better players have more bots, you know, more options, you know, yeah. Yeah, free just max this put. There's no, there's currently too many gaps between the MSNs. They also need a legitimate blur runabout counter. But yeah, they do. But that could be a core on defense. That could be fine. You know, I would like to see some sort of slowdown core that you can apply to defense. It's like a universal slowdown core um, or something that detects quick bots. But that, you know what? That's a good thing that it leaves it open to having more bots like Blur then. So you're not scared to death of creating more bots. Like you're like, oh no, we can't do that. No, no. You can create more bots like Blur. You can create a tank like Blur, Blur maybe that just moves quickly. I don't know. I'm just sort of spouting. But you know, but if you've got a counter, it's your choice. Listen, if you bring a counter out and go, listen, this is the counter to Blur. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't cry about it. And that is it. Listen, if there was a counter, I'll never complain. As long as the counter is effective. When the MSM comes out, I was like, brilliant idea. I love it. They're not quite hit it right. You know. But there should be a counter for everything. A choice. But with the, with the choice, there should be an alternative choice that's just as powerful in the game. Like, at the minute, it's MSM. And they're great. But outside of that, there's nothing else. So everyone's using MSM, which is not fair. But then they're not useful enough. So... Again, it's sort of round in circles. It needs to be MSN needs to be powerful, and there needs to be multiple other cores that are just as powerful as well. So that's the idea. But yeah, but I've talked about it. So I'm blue in the face. I really have. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we got. To think, yeah, that's a good point, though, Jack. The time it takes for the outpost bots to pop out and things like that as well. Yeah, so. Is he that effective? He's the most powerful sack bot in the game. I mean, it says, oh, when I'm leveling a four star. You know, if I'm leveling the four star version over some five star bots, I mean, I'm putting Blur and Slingshot above Sunstreaker, above Snarl, above Gnar, above Dinobot, above Primal, above Prowl, above Skyburst, above Red Alert. So, if you put it that way, then yeah. He's the most powerful sack bot in the game, but do I think there'll be a counter for him eventually? Yeah. I think there will in some way. But, but yeah, put your ideas in the ideas chat, guys. Honestly, it's the best way. I said to everyone, a few people have been sent me ideas and say, what do you think of this idea? I'm like, yeah, listen, put it in the ideas chat. You know, you can go in my server if you want and say, listen, go check my ideas out. Don't, don't go on and say, go and give it a like. You know, just aimlessly say, listen, if you like my idea, give it a like. You know, I've said to everyone, listen, I don't want people just going and like my ideas because it's like my idea. Listen, if you like my idea, go and like it. If you don't, just ignore it. Don't put a dislike. <laughs> I will say that. Don't put a dislike. But, you know, just, yeah, if you like my idea, like it. If you don't, I presume most people watch my channel because they agree with my ideas. You know, not everyone is. Uh, not everyone agrees with what I, you know, the way I see the game. Not even the apes sometimes. But, uh, you know, I just want some sort of choice and variety. I'm tired of seeing the same old walk teams pretty much defeating the same old base designs that's what annoys me you know people will say like oh I'm, i see all different base designs not really this all there's this bit of a you know slight variations but you know everyone's going towards pretty much front-loaded designs nowadays pretty much everyone i mean i'm not even looked at the next base yet all right might this might come a cropper now i might look like an idiot but i'm gonna go out on a limb and say the next base in war is going to be front loaded with a lot of defences with the resource buildings at the back. Let's see. Let's just guess. There you go. <laughs> there you go. See, it's, you know, it's just, you know, you get a cup against these bases all the time. Everyone is doing these bases, sadly. You know, it's just, we see it too much. This is why, you know, resource buildings need a use. You know, having them reflect more damage back can be useful, you know. But, uh, you know, I do like them sort of effects where they reflect damage back. Things like that where you can make use of resource buildings. So, do we have cores for resource buildings? It's an idea. Hey, I don't know how it's going to work, but it's an idea. You know, why not? You know, switch it up a bit. You know, and obviously get more ability points down from by resource building. So that's the playoff. Yeah. 
So Bolt's co combiner is Computron. Yeah, you you know you're going to come up against these things. You, you, that's what I mean, because Computron is so good on defense, and the rest are awful. So, again, you've made one bot that is great on defense and others that aren't. But the problem is that Omega is great on defense, but Omega is that good on offense that you're not going to use any other combiner, really. So, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just too... You know, what's the word? It's like gullible, that's not the word, gullible. It's just too, too predictable right now. You know, base design, people using what bots. I mean, I'm imagining most people will either sack or do a walk team. So, let's just, uh, oh, someone's beat my base, Winter. I don't even know, but I'll guarantee he's either, he's either got a two healer or one healer walk team with two tanks, three or four gunners, two healers, or he's got a sack team with the same sort of setup. I think we'll see, yeah. Let's have a look. But well done for beating my base affair. I'll talk Phil, yeah, and those that haven't got Computron really struggle, so yeah. So look, three tanks, three gunners, two healers. Attacking with Omega. See, it it's too easy. It's too easy. Sadly. <coughs> yeah, I'll switch it round. I'm going to switch it back again. I tried something different on defense, but that hasn't worked. How has Jazz just took them, them walls out? So Jazz, who does 9,000 damage, just took some 24k walls out? Have I missed something? Did everyone see that? Yeah, definitely need to switch up back again. Definitely switch it back again. Try something different. Didn't have a thing. I just switched it pretty much prior to the stream to try something different. But uh, yeah, too easy to pop that. So no. I'm going to go back to my original idea. I was a bit worried about it, but back to my original idea of that. There we go. That was the idea. That was the plan originally. That was it. I moved that. Cool. Day 11's current war team 5 star Nor, Rust Dust, 4 star Cyber Jet, Cybertron Star Scream for Jet, Cybertron Jet Fire for Jet. Four star ultimates, five star hotspot, first day warpath and cover. Yeah, but Daniel Evans, which level are you warring at? If you're leveling at Prime League, you're going to struggle with that sort of team, I think. Especially four star jets. Yeah. You can sack with E1. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're meant to. <laughs> Trust me. Stay puffed. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I know these things. It's designed that way. That is the idea. You will, you will never, you will never defend against everything. It is impossible. No matter what base design you make, it is sackable. You can goldy sack it, or you can elite sack it, or you can blur sack it. No matter what base design, you can do anti blur and anti gold fire, maybe, which this is, but you cannot do anti. Um, Later again, it's impossible to defend against it. it, really is. Yeah, exactly. You can still do it with E1 because the uh mines uh don't outlast. 
Elita's uh, armor. So you cannot stop it. Again, that's not fair that, you know, it's impossible to stop something like that, you know. That's why the MSM mines need a longer timer. But, hey. But she shouldn't become immune to tra not transforming. That's not right, really. But, yeah. Uh, been using Nemesis Prime not on offense a lot. Do you you do need the Nemesis G1 color? Yeah, well, I chased it, didn't I? I've got it. I have got it. Where's my uh, hot rod? Oh, yeah, I've got his core on. That's a good point as well. Put it back on. Got to put it back on again. There you go. Yeah. Yep. And I've got Noah as well. And Noah's got a G1 on, I think. Yep, Noah's got his G1. Not got a combat on though, but I suppose I could put stripes on Noah, but I've got five star stripes there, but I've got three star stripes with Optimus, but Cool. So yeah, uh big thanks to everyone for watching. Don't forget if you are a uh, platinum member, you are automatically put in the draw. Uh but over this week. Uh, I am going to be doing uh, some sort of giveaways and sort of picking people that are um, uh, to get within the 30 names. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, right now, I'm going to pick the last five people that I've taught in the chat over than Platinum members. Uh, for those that have sort of come in at the end and stayed the longest. So, Silverboat94, Daniel Evans, uh, Ultabot Phil. Freezius Max and Raphael Correa. Uh, you five hit me up after the stream with your uh, names, uh, your HQ level, uh, in-game name, HQ level, and alliance. And I will pass them on to Dale. And I will... Um, uh, and I will put you in the draw for the uh, bot so we're doing different giveaways uh, every single stream over the next week or so so uh, be sure to just tune in to my streams if you want a chance for the giveaway it might be the first five in the chat might be the last five it might be the people that I've liked the most the comments the most hey it could be people that I see a lot in the stream it could be anything yeah depends how I feel on the stream but yes but uh, yes Silbot94 uh, Daniel Evans uh, Autobot Phil, uh, Freezer's Max, Raphael Correa, hit me up after the stream. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you are a Platinum member, you are automatically added into that draw just for being a Platinum member. See, I try and, you know, try and reward my Platinum members as much as I can. Anything like this, I'll sort of think of you guys straight away just for supporting my channel. And uh, that's a big thank you. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Tune in on Thursday. On Thursday, we'll be covering the stream. So on the stream, I'm hoping they're going to be doing some sneak peeks of HQ18, maybe. <clears throat> Who knows? Uh, but we'll be covering the stream and anything they cover in that and sort of going to town on it. So, uh, and obviously looking at some other stuff as well. So, yeah. Tune in Thursday. Same time. Usual time. I will see you then. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. And as always, guys, peace out.